We want you to be part of our studio audience. Believe us, it's a great time for everyone. <laughs> to book your seat, just visit WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page or give us a call at 443-880-9116. Okie dokie. So just before the break, we talked to WBOC's Lindsay Tuckman about food trucks here on Delmarva. But now we're going to turn the tables. That's right. Now, Lindsay is going to be doing the cooking, or I guess I should say preparing. Yes, what are exactly. you making? Um, we'll be making pimento cheese, which is a southern uh, classic, I guess you could say. I'm oh. from Atlanta, so okay. um, oh. it's basically just a cheese dip. It's really, really simple, actually. All you need is a block of sharp yellow cheese, a block of sharp white cheese, mayonnaise, cayenne pepper, and then, of course, pimento. Pimento. Okay, and well, that's let's it. get started. That's Put it. Jimmy to work. It sounds All like right. something I can do. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to be in charge of grating the cheese. Grating it needs the cheese. to be grated, can't buy it pre-shredded. So you got to shred it yourself. Because that's just not... All the flavors in the blocks of cheese that are shredded. Okay. Really? So yeah, so that's your job to get that good Any flavor. Any suggestions or advice here? Don't grate your knuckles. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's good advice. advice. That's a good one. It's good I advice. Like that one. All right, yes, exactly. So get those <laughs> down. I'm underway. And then you will be in charge of our mayonnaise, which is a key ingredient. Okay. In the South, mm -hmm. you gotta always have your mayonnaise. Okay. So, so we just need, throw it in the. Yep. Just the throw processor? it straight in there. Okay. That should be good. And then you know we can taste it afterwards. And if we need more mayonnaise, we can always add more. Okay. So you enjoy cooking, don't you? I do. I've um, I've always loved uh, being in the kitchen. My mom's a chef, actually, oh, um, and a really? restaurant owner. Yeah. So it's always been part of my. My life there. Oh my, look at there. <laughs> yep, that's all me right. and my mom. We like to go out and eat a lot of food, as you can see there. <laughs> research, that's all that is. Yeah, research. Exactly. So you know. said you're from Atlanta. Yes, I'm from Atlanta, yeah. Originally uh, raised there uh, my whole life, and now I'm uh, up in Delaware. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what all brought right. you here? This job, you know, moved up here and loving it, loving it, living near the beach, which is not in Atlanta, so. <laughs> and so what, what do you like to do? I mean, you obviously you report for WBOC, mm -hmm. but what do you do for fun? Um, you know, I, uh, I like to go out to eat, obviously. That's <laughs> a big thing. And of course, the food trucks, uh, mm -hmm. that's a big thing. But I also like to travel. Mm -hmm. um, I like to go skiing. I like to um, do fun things with my family. Um, we're, uh, we're pretty close, so we like to go on trips all the time. Yeah. And, uh, skiing is definitely a big skiing, one out there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have heard this rumor. Yes. <laughs> you are not the first Tuckman at WBOC. That is true. That is Explain. a. That's, yes. Um, my dad, actually, when he was my age, yeah. He, uh, up there you can there see. There he is. Yep, he, that is actually in this studio. In this he, very yes. studio. Oh he was an anchor here back uh, in the 80s. You can see the hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he definitely inspired me to uh, check it out, and I liked it too. Yeah, so. Gary Tuckman, of course. Gary, we yes. can mm -hmm. we can see him on CNN. That's that's us. There he mm -hmm. is in the newsplex with you. Yeah, he came and uh, watched me anchoring, so that was a fun day. Uh -huh. uh, we, and we uh, took a picture there together, and people were pretty excited about that. Oh, I really? posted it online. And yeah. I guess you visited CNN too, right? Yes, uh, ever since I was a little girl. He, he's worked at CNN since I was a there child. You are. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, that's so me practicing in a little blazer. <laughs> so, yeah, when, so it's been in my blood. <laughs> when did you know you really wanted to do this? Since From that picture. Since that picture, okay. <laughs> yeah, fair but, enough. Um, yeah, you can put that pimento oh, in now. <laughs> That's yeah. right, we're cooking, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've always, uh, I've always known I wanted to be a part of it. That's good. I got, job. All, the, I got all the cheese job. ready. That's okay. impressive. That looks so good. So I assume this goes in yeah, here. Yeah, pour it right okay. in. And you really, uh, talking about eating, you like eating organic. Yes, I'm a big um, healthy eater. That's yeah. been kind of my. Uh, my goal is to find good organic food that since I've been out here, and um, also, unfortunately, this is not the healthiest of meals. <laughs> but I did get um, I did get organic um, cayenne pepper. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you want to be in charge of How guessing? Much? You know, it's up to you. Do you like spice? I yes. Well, I know Jimmy does. Just kind I think that's good. That's good right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A more. All right. <laughs> I right, know this is the this is the moment. So okay. You have to just do it slow. Don't you got to be careful. Just yeah. kind of false it at first. And the thing about pimento cheese is that it's, you don't want it to end up super uh, smooth. You kind of want it to be chunky. Okay. Um, I wonder if I should get down in there and kind of... Yeah, you got the spatula there to yeah. kind of mix it all up. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So you don't want it smooth? No, you want it chunky and kind of have the, the grated cheese texture oh, still in okay. there. Okay. There's this, uh, at my mom's restaurant actually, they had a contest to make the Atlanta burger. Right. And it was the pimento cheeseburger. So they put oh. that right on top really? of the fried green tomato. So that's a classic oh uh, southern recipe right there. Okay, okay. I, got, I got to have some of this. Let me tell you real quick how you can get Lindsay's mm -hmm. uh, recipe here. All you have to do is send a self addressed stamped envelope to that's 1729 good. North Salisbury Boulevard. That, of course, in Salisbury, 21801. 
You can go to our brand spanking new website. You are going to love that thing. It is so easy to get around and find what you're looking for. WBOC.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. Or there's the number you can call to find out more. 443-880-9116. Man, you made this nice. That looks good. That looks really good. Look at you. You want to do the honors? Well, he does that. <laughs> you know, you're not the only one. You have a brother and sister, right? I do. Yes, mm -hmm. I do. I'm the oldest. Um, oh, there, there they there are. There they are. Uh, oh. We were in Hawaii over Christmas, so that was a little treat. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Wow. And there, yes, I've always liked to um, be a bit of a uh, show show off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's us on Halloween when we were younger. I was a, a dead bride. Thank you for explaining <laughs> that that was Halloween. <laughs> that was an important not, thing. Not an average day in the Tuckman household. <laughs> well, Lisa and I are. Um, Still trying to decide how much we like this. <laughs> it's, I like it yeah. a lot. But that there enough very spice? Good. Yeah, so there's definitely enough spice. Almost. <laughs> well, well, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You, now yeah, that we know guys. what to eat during the evening television mm -hmm. lineup, what's on the screen? Up next, we hear all about the two and a half men series finale. The actors weigh in on their favorite moments from the series, how they feel about the show coming to a close, and what we can expect tomorrow night. But first, while we're having fun here in the Del Marble Live Kitchen, let's hear from Rachel Ray. She has a handy how-to tip for your basil. Guys, when you bring home beautiful, fresh basil from the grocery store, do not head for your fridge. Basil hates the cold. It doesn't like water much either. You need to treat it like fresh cut flowers. Trim the bottoms, put it in clean water, change that water every couple of days, leave it on the counter, not in the fridge, and then cover it with a plastic food storage bag. This creates a little greenhouse and the basil will not only not go bad, it'll continue to grow. You'll use every last leaf. 